Hello everybody, now that BlizzCon is over and I've had some time to gather my thoughts, I decided to make videos talking about how, what I think about the new World of Warcraft expansion. But I decided to split this up into two parts because, well, otherwise it would be way too long. So this one is going to focus on gameplay, whereas I have another one focusing on lore. And I have a third video that I haven't recorded yet, where I plan to talk about World of Warcraft Classic, because I want to share my thoughts on that too. But as I said, this is the gameplay video. Uh, there's quite a lot to cover. I have a little script written on my computer here. And the first point I want to talk about is the level scaling. In Legion, they introduced this thing where all the, you can choose, you can decide by yourself which zone you want to start leveling in, because all the zones scale to your level. It's a fantastic idea, something that was vastly needed in Draenor. Now that I'm, I've been, I've been leveling a lot of alts lately, and uh, leveling in Draenor is such a bore because you ha there's no variation. You have to do the exact same pattern every fucking time. It got really stale. But anyway, they're taking that technology and they're retroactively adding it to the entire leveling experience. Which just, I mean, it basically made me cream my pants. I was fucking excited. Uh, they, they plan to make it like, you know, the starting zones are going to just be 1 to 0 to 10. Or well, level 1 to 10, in fact, you don't start at level 0. Level 1 to 10. But then all the other zones will have a starting uh, level. Like, for example, Westfall will start at, still start at level 10, but it will scale up to level 60. So that as long as you're still within that, that leveling range, you can go there and level and experience that quest content. Which, which I recommend you do, because Westfall is one of my favorite zones to level in, because it just has a great story. Uh, and I recommend you actually at least once level through it, reading the quest objectives and learning the actual story there. Another small thing they added that I want to cover is backslots. They're giving us more backslots, if you use an authenticator, which I do. So we're getting bigger, like the main bag specifically, the one you can't change is going to get bigger. Thank you. Uh, we're getting another stat quitch, like we did for Worlds of Draenor, for the same reason, like the numbers are getting too big. They're also making an item level squish, which is interesting. They talked about how they should have done that during Worlds of Draenor, but they didn't. Uh, but they're doing that now. So item levels are going to be squished down. Like they, sh they showed a picture of like, a geared character, when they were talking about the Heart of Azeroth, they showed a picture of a fully geared character, and it was like, like item level 185. I mean, there's plenty of ways they can do that. Do this. They can just remove item level on old gear entirely, because, well, at all gear, it doesn't really matter. And, or they could just do, like, uh, due to raid content at the, end of, and at the end of every expansion, usually there's a, like, 200 item level gap from leveling gear from one expansion to the start leveling gear of the other expansion. Uh, so just remove, just making that gap smaller could do the all the difference in the world. Uh, I don't exactly know how they're going to do it, but they're going to squish it down pretty heavily, as I said. Like, it's going to go down from up in the thousands down to, like, 185, 200, that area. Excuse me. And... Next up, the Allied Races. Fuck, I talked about this in my lore video. I'm fucking excited. Like, I immediately started looking at all my characters, like, which ones am I going to race change to play at these Allied Races? But then they announced something that... They announced that if you level 1 to max level, you get a Heritage Armor. So I was getting bummed out, like, well, fuck, I mean, I, I don't have any character slots left. I can't level more characters. But, you know, Blizzard heard my prayers. And we're getting six new character slots. Six new character slots. Yes. You know, the other reason, it's such a good idea. I talked about this a little on my lore video. I should have said it for now, but uh, it's like they found a way to add new races to the game with a lot less of the work. They don't need to add a starting zone. They don't need, there's so much they don't need to do. They just need to make the animations and then you start level 20 and go. You, they don't even need class mounts. They're not sure if they're getting class mounts. Um, that is such a, like, there's so much things they could add. So much. That part I covered more in the lore videos. Go look at that. Next up, I want to talk about the Warfronts. This is basically like an RTS game inside World of Warcraft. Like, yeah, I was on full mass at this point. Like, I'd already creamed my pants once throughout this panel, and now I was full, full mass again. 
Fuck, Warf ones look cool. The first one is going to be Stromgard. I think there's going to be a second one in, in Gilneas, if I'm allowed to speculate. Uh, I really want the Alliance to retake Gilneas. Like my, I, I'm main a Worgen, you know, my Worgen wants to go home. He left his favorite shoe toys there, he really wants those back. Uh, so the Warfronts, that's, that's, that's fucking cool. Like, they're adding RTS elements into World Warcraft. I would have loved just a Warcraft 4 released as, like, a companion piece to this that covers more the big-scale war, whereas World of Warcraft is more small-scale, like, you're one person on the ground. But this, this is an okay substitute. This is an okay substitute. They're adding two continents, which is one of the biggest differences. Horde and Alliance now have each have their own continent. This is a pretty, pretty interesting development. Um, I don't think we've ever had main capitals so far away from each other. You know, uh, in Pandaria we had separate capitals, and at that point, like they were, you could stand on one of them and see the other one, like they were so close to each other. And in Waters of Draenor, we were going to get that again. No, no, not going to. We were going to get uh, capital cities far away from each other. You know, Alliance was going to have the Temple of Karabor, and the Horde was going to have Bladespire Citadel. Which would have been a fucking great development. They should have done that. But no, they chicken out and instead we got these shitty cities on Ashram that nobody really cares so about or nobody ever liked. You know, I, I spent a lot of gold getting an auction house in my garrison and then I just never visited a War Spear ever again. It's called War Spear. I, I don't remember what it's called. That's how much I give a shit about it. But the, just that part alone is exciting. That you're going to split them up that much. And then, when you're max level, you're going to be able to go to the other faction's continent and do some quests and war quests and stuff there. Uh, I'm, I'm, that, is, that looks sounds cool. I, I like that. And another thing we're getting is, since we're allying with these big naval civilizations, we're getting island expeditions. Where we go to an, go to an island and try to find Azerite. And these island expeditions are going to be randomized, so there's... There's several different islands, and even on every island, there can be a completely different story every time you go there. Uh, that sounds kind of interesting. It's a bit like scenarios from Panoria, except better, because it's more randomized, it's more new, it's newer. Like, <laughs> how do I put it in a good way? Uh, it's not the same thing over and over again. Uh, apparently, they're not adding Worgen or Goblin models yet. Boo. But uh, they said that they're talking about it. I don't know what that means, but it's something. They were really excited about this tactical PVE, tactical AI for PVE they've created. For island expeditions, you're going sometimes going to be, I don't know if it's sometimes or if it's always, facing off with these AI characters representing the other faction. And that since they're not just supposed to run up to you and punch you in the face, they've just said that they, they've given them personality. Like, they've given them a tactical advanced AI. That, no, they're going to go for the objectives. Some of them are going to go for the objectives. Some of them are going to stall you so you can't go for the objective. Just a great idea in general. Uh, I mean, if, if they can manage to pull that off, that's a great idea. So it's going to be interesting to see how that ends up. And lastly, we're getting in-game voice chat. Now, when I heard that, I started thinking, I was like, why isn't this already a thing? It feels like that should have been a thing for years now. So many games have a fucking voice chat. Like, why don't World of Warcraft at this point? But yeah, they're adding it to the game, and it's going to be added. And so it's going to be like communities and a lot of extra social features that I don't really care about. I mean, I have a guild. I'm actually the guild master of my guild. It's called the Cult of Orange Jesus. I'm kind of proud of that. But I have like three active members. Like I was given this guild as it was dying, and I renamed it and just decided to make it mine. But yeah, I have like two or three active members. So, meh. I haven't really felt like recruiting. Like, I tried to do it for a while, I didn't have any success, and I just got bummed out. So, now I just have a small guild that I mostly have to myself. I've been using the bank stores, the guild bank, as my personal bank. Okay, that was a side note. But yeah, the gameplay. Uh, the gameplay that I've seen so far for Battle for Azeroth is exciting. Like, I'm really looking forward to this. Now, I, keep, I, I always keep in mind that I was excited for Wars of Draenor, but it turned out to be a piece of shit. But I was also excited for Legion, and Legion was good. I don't know. I don't know if we're getting another Legion. If this is going to be good, if this is going to be bad. Just, I mean, it remains to see. Uh, all I can say is I hope it's good. So, I'm Nerd Guy, and this was 
all I had to say about gameplay. If you want to see my thoughts about the lore, then check out that video. And when it gets uploaded, or if when I record it, check out the video I make about World of Warcraft Classic because I have some interesting things to say about that too. Anyway, I'm Nerd Guy, and until next guy, until next time.